Okay, so we're ready for the first try of the wooden piston crown brakes. This one's running the, an oak piston crown. Now we gotta start it on mustard here, which is the normal starting procedure. It goes about the third pole here. to burn through the piston crown. It was quarter inch thick oak. Okay, she sure came to a standstill. I guess I got some zoom issues here. A little close up here. So as you can see, I made a steel cylinder head for it there. I imagine it's nice and hot right now. And uh, it's just a three and a half horse Briggs lawnmower engine. But uh, the piston is uh, uh, the crown is quarter inch thick oak screwed in place and I'll show that uh, just after uh, this part of the video here but it ran, ran quite some time before it burned its way through I'll show the damage here in a second well here we are after about 15 minutes of disassembly work as you can see there's a clear it up a little here hole in the center of the piston burnt right through and it's funny the, uh, the top of the piston there is pretty well intact but uh, the side by the valves is burnt right off the combustion chamber it's uh, well relatively clean there's uh, still a little bit of oil smoke or wood smoke coming out of the crankcase apparently when it burned through the piston there it uh, pumped a bunch of smoke and flame down into the crankcase but I'm going to get you enough views of it here to show you the destruction of the oak piston crown so obviously she went up in smoke so now I have some black walnut and other types of wood. I'll give them a try. Unfortunately, I have to tear the engine right down to uh, remove the piston, so I got my work cut out for me. But anyway, just uh, have a watch of this there during the uh, halftime or intermission from the football games in the states there, and uh, I'll try to 
get another one of these going. The problem I have this time of year is fighting the, the light. The time I get home from work, it's dark to make too dark to make a video. So I'll have to get a uh, get a bunch of these uh, piston uh, crowns made up there, and, and uh, so I can run different types of wood. So as I mentioned before, this one was oak. Originally, my first one I had uh, red cedar, but it split in half, so I uh, went with oak on this one. So anyway, everybody have a good one, and hope you enjoy the football game, so we'll catch you later. Now, I'm sure there may be some people out there that say, uh, well, that's not a real uh, uh, wooden piston in the engine there, and uh, to a certain extent, uh, you're right. But uh, I feel that uh, just having the piston crown uh, made out of wood fairly well simulates uh, how well a complete uh, machine wooden piston would work. Although the crown probably will last longer uh, just due to the fact that uh, a complete wooden piston may uh, burn through uh, at your uh, ring lands if you use piston rings. Uh, it probably wouldn't seal, so it would like blow torch the side of the piston. Whereas this one uh, can't do that because it still uses the regular piston and rings. Uh, I do, however, have a hole drilled in the center of the piston to allow it to burn through. So that, and that's what happened in this case. You can see the little bit of red silicone there um, in the, the burnt out area. Um, originally, I was going to use. Uh, this uh, red cedar uh, piston crown, but uh, it's uh, split in half. So uh, learn my lesson about which way you gotta put the holes in it with the grain there or whatever. But the oak one was of course stronger and it survived pretty good. But as as I'll point out here, you can see uh, how it burned off on the the side where the valves were. It was a complete circle as you you saw in the display picture. But uh, obviously the combustion isn't even all over the surface of the piston. So um, swirling and uh, turbulence and all that stuff comes into effect there. So so like I say, even though it isn't a complete wooden piston, I feel it's a fairly good uh, uh, representation of how a wooden piston would survive in an engine. I've heard uh, accounts of people making, uh, making wooden pistons and they probably lasted longer than this, but... Uh, like I say, I, I have questions about the, how the piston ring sealing surface would survive. And if you didn't run piston rings, then it would probably be even worse. So, anyway, enough said on that. So, hope you all enjoyed the video.